Modern American Canasta here with It's Not Over Till It's Over. In our book, Modern American Canasta, The Complete Guide, we have 14 chapters on strategy. And one of the things we focus on is strategy during the timing of the game and the end of the game. So during the timing of each round, there's different strategy and that changes as the round continues. And when one of the teams, either your team or the other team, have close to 8,500 points, the strategy of the game could change. Here in this game, opponents were just shy of 8,000 points. They had two close canastas and had a bunch of threes. So if you added up all the points of their canastas and their threes and their 8,000 points, they were a sure thing. But not so fast, because since we talk about strategy at the end of the game, it was time for a last-ditch effort. My partner opened by picking the pack, they put down a pure meld of four aces, and they separately put down a meld of four wild cards. They didn't have pairs to attach those wild cards to. So when they picked the pack, they were actually able to close the aces with the, wild, the aces in the pack, close a pure five, and put all these other cards out. Then when it was my turn, I had two, seven, two, two sevens to add to the five they put down, and I had one wild card, which I had to put on the wild card meld because you cannot abandon that. You have to put all wild cards on a wild card meld to close a canasta before you could use wild cards anywhere else. So we had nothing to lose. Our opponents were going to win anyway if my partner didn't try this. And it was risky, but it paid off. Modern American Canasta, the complete guide, has over 14 chapters of strategy and timing of the round, end of game and a lot of information to up your game. We invite you to check it out on Amazon and modernamericancanasta.com. Thanks so much for watching, and we hope you get all the cards you need in hand.